Okay, so we got our chicks. Well, actually, the guineas are Keats. I asked just to make sure. Aww. Show the rooster, Asher. Which one's the rooster? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> They're all so cute. They are. No joke. Cute. Ready to take them home? Okay, let's so take them to the car. Let's go. Let's go to the car. Be careful. Serenity, other side. Wait for Granny. On this side. You know you can't. The door. And um, this is a video for the, them, and they're really cute. Mm -hmm. There they are. Sleeping. Oh, no. Yes. Don't. Let me kiss. Let me kiss. Let me. On the head. Careful. Back up the head. We're gonna pick up the rooster now. Oh, he's so tough. He's tougher. He's tough and beautiful. It's a boy. Yeah, he's beautiful and tough. Look at him. Mm -hmm. He's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, what am I doing? Am I like, meow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. He picked him up again. It is early and I'm out here checking on the little chickies. We just got, aren't they precious? We just got three new guineas and a rooster. And the little guineas, they're not called guinea chicks, they're called guinea keats. And uh, we got guineas for the yard. They will um, eat your crickets or grasshoppers. They will keep you free of ticks. Uh, they're a great little fowl to have around. Um, if you live in a area that is populated, you know, you have homes around you, you think that you can't have a guinea, guinea fowl, but you can if you clip their wings. And, you know, people may think clipping their wings is cruel, but no, allowing them to be mauled by dogs or run over or who knows what else, that's cruel. Clipping their wings is, is a natural thing. They don't feel it if it's done correctly, and you can take them into a vet and have that done. Have it done the first time, and then you'll be able to do it yourself. But... Uh, they're a great thing to have around, and they're a lot of fun to watch. They are the cutest things when they grow up. They're a funny shape, you know. They're not like your chickens. They're going to be kind of long, and um, and they're just really, really cute. And if you raise them from a chick like we are, and you handle them, and um, let your children handle them, they'll be a little tamer than, uh, than normal. So you want to get baby chicks. And we went to... Um, ideal hatchery in Cameron to get our chicks and we've gone there several times and I go there because I like to go and pick up my chickens. Now there are places that you can get them and they're good places that, but they'll mail them and we had a really bad experience through the mail and so I'm, I'm not going to do that again. 
I'll drive to Cameron and I'll pick up my chicks of whatever type I desire to get. They have very good chicks. It's a family run operation. And I did some video um, when we got there and outside, but for some reason I lost it. With cameras, you never know what happens. And I'm not a novice with cameras anyway, in case you can't tell. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better, I don't know. But um, this is the little rooster. This is our little rooster. And the grandbabies are all still arguing about what the names of these are going to be. They get changed every time we turn around. Because I have told them that, that they can um, they can name the, the babies this time. They've always helped, but this time they're going to name the babies. And they're fighting over which ones they're going to name. Uh, little Asher, wants to, he's got names for all of them. And he's changed them several times. But... You know, Serenity has already picked out the one that she wants, and it's the little white-winged one. And, uh, and she gets that one, and she gets to name that one. But if you don't have guineas, you might think about getting guineas and adding them to your, your garden. It'll help keep you free of bugs, and uh, you will be very grateful for that. You know, we try to do everything organic here, and so one thing that I do every morning, afternoon, and evening is go out and pick bugs off of plants. Squash bugs, and then you go out at night with the black light, flashlight, and you look for the, uh, the little tomato horned worms that, you know, they're easier to find at night with the black light. And, these are going to save a lot of that problem. Now, I don't think that they're going to take care of the tomato horned worms, but that's an easy thing to do going out. You know, in all the time that I've been gardening, I've only had one horned worm. My chickens were grateful for it because they're about this long and they're about that fat, if not bigger. So uh, they were grateful for it. They fought over it. and. Uh, but these guineas are going to help take care of all the other bugs that we have because we do have grasshoppers and we do have crickets. And I don't want my chickens out in my garden area because, and they do get out there now and then, but they scratch up everything and they dig under everything and, and they eat my greens, which I gladly give them when I have some for them anyway. They don't need to eat the ones that I'm going to be eating. So um, your guinea fowl will not do that. Uh, they will not eat your garden. They will go after the bugs. That is the main bulk of their diet. Now, we will be feeding them uh, a food, just like we do our chickens, but who are not cooped up in a coop, by the way. Don't think that that's what they are. They, have, uh, they are free range, but they have a certain area that they get to free range in. So, um, because I want them to stay out of my garden. So, if you don't have guineas, you might consider getting some. <laughs> they're, when they're little, they're so cute. And they're so interesting to watch when they grow up. So they're a good, a good add to your, uh, to your home, to your uh, homestead, and to the protection of your garden. And uh, even if you don't have a garden, the protection of your yard, because like I said, they will eat the grasshoppers and the crickets. And those are things that you can't spray away. You can spray them and it'll kill them off. But you, do you want to spray that poison around your home? And you kill off just what's there. They're going to come back. Um, I remember one time at my mother's, living out in the country, the grasshoppers were horrible. I mean, you couldn't walk without stepping on grasshoppers. And we went out there and we sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. We killed them all, cleaned it up. The next day, they were back. So the stuff doesn't work for a permanent fix. But guess what? guineas do. So thank you for joining me. Uh, this has been a fun video because I love the little chicks and uh, I love the grandbabies with them. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.